You know, I saw Wilfredo Vasquez Jr.'s victory this weekend, and I saw Juan Manuel Lopez in the ring. It got me to thinking, do you know anything about his kind of return or how this have that's going? Well, we're, we're looking to get him off suspension a little early to, yeah. in order to uh, take the ring rust off him. Okay. And then we're looking on a February 2nd okay. uh, to maybe do a double header in Puerto Rico with Vasquez and Lopez. Okay. And uh, uh, if Mikey Garcia is successful November 10th, Against the lead. Juan Manuel, would that be a 130? Do you think he could still make 126? Who? Juan Manuel Lopez. Can he still make 126, or should he go up to 130? I, that I don't know. I know that he'll kill himself to make the weight to fight uh, Vasquez. That's a, a a match that everybody in Puerto Rico is dying to see. But you but you feel he 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 would have to kill himself to make 126? I don't know. I, oh. I I don't know. But do you feel it's kind of unfair the way they gave him that suspension because... Terrible. I think that's terrible. It just shows the uncaring nature of a lot of these boxing commissions. I mean, if he had said it a day later, yeah, you give him a suspension. But the guy was concussed. And you know, when you're drunk, you say a lot of things you're not responsible for. And they should have taken that into account. And is it hard for you to see a fighter have so much success and you kind of guide him and then he's kind of in this real tough predicament? Is it kind of tough for you? Like they say, it's life.